Patriots. Um, today's a special day for two reasons. I've reached 100 subscribers. Yay! And um, the other reason is I got new headlights for my CDI. And um, it's always a good idea to try and, and salvage your old headlights, polish them, you know, uh, headlight restoration and all that. But it gets to a point where no matter how many times you polish and restore your headlights, you know, it's not going to fix the, the problem. And the main problem is inside your headlights, you have um, projectors. And these projectors have reflectors in behind the lens. And after many years of use, many hours of use, these um, reflectors on, on the projectors, they'll start to fade out, they'll start to burn out, the reflective coating will start to degrade, and the light output is just not gonna be the same as getting new headlights. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a good idea to do headlight restoration maybe two, three, four times, and then, you know, after that, it's just, you'll see there isn't gonna be much of a difference. It might be a difference cosmetically, but you can only do that so many times. And uh, I took the plunge, I bought new ones, um, the original Hella headlights. I got them on uh, partsgeek.com, very good deal. They're about um, $205 shipped. Um, 205 each and the nice thing about these is you know they're OE original headlights for the vehicle um, they come with the new with new gaskets you know that go all around here um, they include brand new bulbs and um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, today we're gonna do an install I'll show you guys how to do it it's uh it's a pretty easy job you just need some patience if you've never taken off your bumper before your front bumper cover that's what you gotta do there's no way around it you gotta take off the front bumper cover and um yeah let's uh let's get to it um i'll show you the difference between these new headlights and the old ones you'll see the clarity is just amazing on the new ones and uh, what's in this box right here is 3m paint protection film pro series this is the 3m pro series and uh, they come with a five or ten year warranty if you're gonna get new headlights I strongly recommend you get this paint protection film because it's not just for paint you do headlights fog lights you know and um, if you're gonna invest $400 in new headlights and you want to keep your investment looking nice and new and you want to avoid doing headlight restorations in the future on your new headlights just get the film it's cheap it's about 50 to 60 dollars online um, it's pre-cut so all you got to do is you know just do the install yourself I'll show you guys how to do that as well and um, yeah but thank thanks guys for uh, subscribing thanks for watching my videos I really appreciate it and uh, yeah let's get going all right here you can see the new headlights they just look beautiful all new rubber gaskets all around new bulbs everything is just awesome you can see their original hellas part numbers and everything and um, let me show you the old ones all right guys here's the old headlights you can see I I did the headlight restoration uh, with a dedicated headlight restoration kit 
and even after a few months down here in Florida from the UV light from the sunlight they'll just degrade really quickly you can see it's not clear anymore and but that's not the only issue like I said the reflectors are also shot all right and um, yeah let's start uh, let's start disassembling this thing and I'll show you guys what you have to do all right let's start off with this right here this is a 10 millimeter let me see if I have this in reverse nope all right leave it up there uh, this is probably an eight millimeter let's start let's do this one next leave that right there here we go eight millimeter Next up, we got to go underneath the car. Okay, under here, we got to remove this bottom uh, splash shield, under engine tray, whatever. You've got four screws down here. Right here, you've got one. Right here, you've got one, which holds this middle piece as well. So then you've got the other two on that side as well and then you've got two that live right in here right in front of the front wheels i don't know if you can see that where are they there's one right there and there's another one somewhere and you also got to take off this little plastic uh what do you call it clip and then out comes this piece and then we can get access to the bottom two bolts that live on the metal aluminum bumper that sit right above the intercooler if you have a CDI or if you have an E55 you'll also have an intercooler if you don't have a CDI or E55, it's going to be pretty easy to access those two bolts that are sitting on the bottom of the bumper. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Okay, all of these screws are out and we can now remove this front piece like so. Alright, put it away. It smells like a dead lizard in here. All right, now we've got access to the bottom bolts holding the bumper cover. I'll show you guys. You can see it right there. And right there. That's the other one. So 
let's get to it um, those are 10 millimeter by the way which I have to go and grab now it does help to have some longer um, I don't know extensions or bit holders whatever they're called I'll show you now what I mean because it's it's at least um, I'd say 10 inches from here to there so in, able, in, in order to to reach that you gotta have a longer extension so let's see what I can let's see what I can make I can double this up and then can put this adapter wait put this adapter in here come on put this in here and in the 10 millimeter here we go now we got to get that up there it should not be a problem there we go Yeah, you gotta pull on this a little bit or push it forwards a little bit. All right, got that one out. There we go. Has some kind of yellow tape and um, blue tape on it. I don't know what that's for. No not common and um, let me see I couldn't get this one to fall out it's got to be out so you can get the buffer cover off there we go okay guys this is where your plastic trim removal tools will come in handy um, to get these little clips out or let me see which one I have I didn't bring all of them all right I brought something else as well but be careful with this they're just wire cutters they're they're really good at removing these clips as well just got to be very careful, don't squeeze too hard. And there we go. Okay, so I wanted to show you the other clip that you had to remove in here. To be able to pull the fender um, liner, you don't have to completely take it off, but it's easier. Um, I prefer just to take off this one clip here and then pull it out gently. But here's the the clip that I was talking about. You got to take this out, and once you do that, you just gently pull this fender out a little bit and then uh, I'll show you the rest all right that's out and now we can go ahead and pull this out gently I'll show you guys <laughs> Thank you. 
this is rubber on the end so that's why you're able to pull it out gently all right now let me show you guys the clip that's in here hold on a second See that that right there there's a screw down here and then once you get that screw out you pull this little push this little tab inwards and then then you can take that clip out I'll show you guys I've already taken the screw out on mine It can be a little hard because there might be sand and dirt and debris so just take a flathead screwdriver and push it out just a little bit like so and then gently push that out now once you have it pushed out push forward so it slides out and this is it right here so you'll see what I'm talking about this is the way it sits when it's installed this is the bottom you see this little clip that's why when you push it out you gotta push also forward and then that'll take it out from this thing that sits at the front and that's all that's holding the bumper on besides the bolts so I, w I just wanted to show you guys I almost forgot the the screw that holds this in the little um, retainer clip thingy uses a Torx 30 bit so just wanted you guys to know that if you had wondered what it was okay so the last thing to do before you take off the bumper cover is to disconnect all the wiring that is connected to your fog lights your running lights and also disconnect your exterior temperature sensor which sits right there let me see if i can get some light on that it's right here on all of these you just twist and you take out the socket basically twist and turn and you take out the socket and then you're free to remove the bumper cover hey guys um, all right now is the time when you want to have a helper just to help you hold the one side of the bumper cover while you're moving the other side and then you, you want him to switch places and then you remove the other side so here we go all right samuel go ahead that's my son samuel by the way he's a good boy he's a youtube gamer all right oh wait i forgot one clip hold hold And that wasn't supposed to happen. Wait. Just hold it. Don't worry, I'll cut that scene out. <laughs> Alright. Okay, guys. Here's how it goes. You just pull it out. Alright. And you can pull out too, Samuel. Is it not coming loose? Okay. All right, come hold this side. Come around. Don't worry, it's not gonna fall. Just hold this side right here. And there's actually a little clip right here that, that goes into this fender. You gotta push back and then it'll release. All right. 
right? And that's it. All right, Samuel, let's put it over there on the grass where it's nice and soft so it won't get scratched up. Walk that way. All right, you guys, a few screws here. Let me show you real quick to remove the headlights. You got one right here. That's an eight millimeter. You have another eight millimeter right there. And then you've got this right here. Although I don't even think I have a screw on this one. Let's see if there's one on the other side. Nope, there's no screw on this side either. So, yeah, and then that's all you need to take out the, the headlights. And then don't forget to disconnect your connections. Uh, your headlight wires, your bulb, your high beam, low beam, turn signal, the harness. All right, you guys. This is a long one. One here. Friends, remember, keep your eyes open. All right, Hannah. Those two are the same size. Yes. And of course. Hannah, please. All right. So now, let's see if I can get the connections loose. And keep your eyes open too, Dad. Over. And the headlight is now loose, ready to go. And that's pretty much it. Now I wanted to show you guys why you want to replace these headlights. And one of the main reasons. Yes. Hold on, Hannah. Okay, you ready, Dad? Quiet, Hannah, please. I'm trying to show my subscribers these old headlights actually these are not even original headlights what does it say eagle eyes made in taiwan yeah this is not this is not original headlights someone must have put them in previous owner maybe you can see how long they lasted so always go with oem oe uh see look at these the the rubber insulation is all torn up um, what else these rubber pieces right here I'll show you guys these pieces are all loose especially here you see that's torn shouldn't be like that and just all in all, look, the clarity is gone. And I'm sure the projector inside is all burnt out probably as well. Okay, guys, um, I had a video previously about um, running HID bulbs in here. And I did for a while. However, I tried switching to um, LEDs, and that's what I have in here for now. I'm going to try them with the new headlights as well. That's how you take off the, the cover. You just twist it counterclockwise. And that's my LED bulb right there. You see how nice and small it is? Nice and compact, fits perfect. That's what I like to have, something that's just plug and play and easy. So there's two tabs right here. You squeeze them in, push down, and release. Push down, release. They go over like so. Okay. And 
there we have it that's it and this is my LED bulb right here you can see how it's turned oh wait here's the connection it plugs right into the factory connector which I don't know if the the one on the hell looks like this but I hope it does so one of the other reasons why you want to change your headlights as well is because especially on the original hella headlights from the 2000s the wires inside the insulation usually just falls apart because they used to be made with this biodegradable insulation um, it seems to be fine on this one because like I said this is not the original headlight but that's another reason why you want, might want to change headlights because if you're running the original if you're running the original headlamps more than likely maybe 95% of the times the insulation on the wiring inside will be gone and that can just create a a short or something or start a fire who knows here we have new headlight and let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have here all right yeah this is a different type of mounting system let's see if we can make this work so you lift and twist this with the screwdriver and then you'll be able to take this bulb out now you only have to do this if you're gonna use LED bulbs so so this is the bulb that came with the new headlight and it mounts like this right here so turns out I need to get some kind of special adapters for installing these LED bulbs in the CDI um, it's got the little adapters here but the retainers I think the retainers is what they're called these are too wide right here to go through the retainers so I gotta get some kind of special Mercedes retainers for the H7 bulbs i'm pretty sure i've seen them online on ebay and amazon um if i find something i'll put it in the description and let you guys know how it worked out so for now i'm just gonna run the stock uh, halogen bulbs that came in it until i can find those retainer adapters or whatever all right you guys i have the headlights installed um there is one thing that I needed to show you. There was one more bolt holding the headlights in. Unfortunately, on that side, that bolt was missing. So I gotta get one of those from somewhere. I'm not sure where. Probably gotta order it online. Um, but basically, it's right here. Uh, you see this headlight rests on this right here. However, on the back side of this right through here there is going to be a bolt that holds this in place see you can see my finger pushing through it yeah well you got to take that bolt out it's an eight millimeter um, on my car it was missing on the other side so I just wanted you guys you know to know all the bolts you know because if I didn't tell you about it and you took out just this one and this one you would have been trying to tear the whole thing out you know without uh, 
taking those bolts out so I'm sure you have them on your car um, I'm gonna figure something out on on this for now because you see if you don't have it adjusted right this thing is not gonna be sticking out enough you see it goes in and out so I need to find some kind of a spacer or something or I can I think I can actually screw this this is like a I don't know 12 or 14 millimeter and I can actually screw this in a little further to make this come out a little more um, and it'll just sit like that until I can find one of those bolts but um that's it alright guys it's nighttime now um, I'm doing the paint protection film on the headlights I've already installed the passenger side low beam and I still have to do the little ones which is the high beam I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick and uh, here we go so first of all you take your roll of paint protection film with the pre-cut pieces you can probably see them you can see the little shapes and everything tape up the sheet to a wall or something and um, basically when you start taking off the pieces you gotta get your hand wet you gotta get your fingertips wet with the spray bottle basically take a spray bottle put a couple of drops uh, drops of uh, dishwashing soap like Dawn or something um, or what is it called palm olive and um, put a couple of drops of dish soap but the rest of it was water um, shake it up and then that's what you'll use your for your solution make sure your headlights are nice and clean and um, dry them off make sure there's no lint or debris or anything and uh, after that you just uh, while you're peeling it off with your when you start taking off the pieces um, make sure your like I said your fingertips hand is all wet spray it with the squirt bottle spray the pieces with the squirt bottle and and also spray the back side the adhesive side with the spray bottle make sure it's nice and wet then when you get to the headlight spray that with the squirt bottle as well and I'll show you guys how to do um, how to apply it to the actual headlight okay, so as I said start spraying your headlight get it nice and wet take your piece make sure it's wet on both sides remember water is your friend for now all right, and who is that? We got an intruder. Oh, it's my son. All right, take your squeegee. Um, this one didn't come with the kit, with well, this particular kit, but um, the kit does come with one. Most of the sellers on eBay provide squeegees. All right and start by tacking one side try and get it nice and close to the edge as possible as close as possible and just try and tack on the one side by squeezing the water out all right because once you have one side anchored then you've got room to play by stretching the film and the reason you gotta stretch the film is because these are pre-cut so they make them a little bit smaller so you can stretch them I don't know why but that's how it is so what I'm doing is I'm squeegeeing some of the water out and then picking it up with the towel so that the water doesn't go back into the little fingers or grooves that pop back up all right now Get some more water. Make sure it's nice and wet. Put your hand nice and wet. And 
and start stretching so that you can reach oh, hold on it's a little bit tacked on already you can spray the bottom a little bit more again all right water keeps this whole thing going or water in solution so now I'm just stretching it gently pulling it down with the weight of my hand so that it can reach you know the bottom portion and all the edges and now you start squeezing Okay, the top portion is good. This can be tricky, but if you take your time, you will be able to do it, trust me. Paint protection film installers by 3M that are certified installers, they actually do like a two week course or something maybe it's not two weeks but I know it was a like a it wasn't a one day course but it was at least like a few days or a week or two weeks and yeah you just start squeegeeing out and make sure everything you know reaches all the edges make sure you're getting as much coverage as possible I'm not a professional installer, so I just go with the flow. <laughs> and um, it's always worked out for me pretty well. <laughs> All right, now don't be afraid to spray more water on top just so you can get the rest of the little bubbles out and water so let's do that one more time and here we go we're almost done you see there's a little you probably can't see it but there's a little groove here that's like popping up and right here so what I do for that is keep squeegeeing keep squeegeeing and the water will run down eventually and then you can start taking your your microfiber towel or whatever you're using I recommend microfiber and then when you push out the little bubble or groove finger then just soak up the water that comes out so that way it won't lift up again all right and we're almost done here and also if you do have some bubbles don't 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 worry too much because the sun might dry out the water and the bubbles and it should be fine in most cases it's kind of like window tint not exactly the same but kind of the same in terms of bubbles and drying out and all that stuff so now I've done this on a few headlights I've installed it on a few cars I've done whole bumpers I've done hoods and um uh, yeah i've used basically youtube as my reference and my teacher on most of these installs that i do and a little bit of common sense as well and uh, if you guys you know take your time you should be successful and now that you have this installed over your headlight you should have many many years of protection 
and um, the paint protection film has some kind of a built-in UV layer that protects plastics paint from the harmfuls harmful rays from the Sun so if these do go yellow they get scratched up just peel them off put new ones on and you'll be good because if this if this thing gets all scratched up and worn out it'll be the headlight lens will be brand new underneath so yeah guys um, that's it for now I don't want to leave you hanging because I know I told you I would show you how to do the paint protection film on the headlights so if you do get new headlights um, definitely get this I recommend it very very important to protect your investment you know if you don't buy this you know maybe you'll get five six years out of them if you do get it you might get 10 15 years out of it you know because they're not really exposed that much that's it for now guys I hope you found this uh, video helpful and useful I really do recommend new headlights they make a huge difference I replaced the headlights on one of the other CDI's that I have on the black one there were also some Chinese or Taiwanese aftermarket garbage and um, I replaced them with the same hellas I just didn't do a video on it but um, yeah it's gonna be a night and day difference really important to have good light for night driving but anyways guys thanks for watching um, I got some new tools and toys and stuff coming to the channel um, gonna be making more videos pretty soon so if you have any questions or comments just uh, you know let me know leave a comment down below and uh, please subscribe like and share and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.